All right, I'm all packed. I'm ready to close this joint. Wednesday and I'm so excited because I'm actually about to head to the airport. I'm heading to LA Just for a few days. I'm only there until Sunday. But I'm not exactly going for work I am gonna have to be working there. I'm mostly going to see my friends. I actually spent two winters in LA Nick and I we're doing the whole bi-coastal thing where we kept our apartment in New York and we're doing it back and forth to escape the New York winters. While I was out there, I was able to reconnect with old friends, connect with new ones. And they're honestly some of the closest people to me. So I'm just making the effort to go and see them, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be my first travel vlog since coming back on YouTube. And even though it's domestic, I'm just really excited to still share that with y'all. Okay, I'm all packed now and let's go. We're going to LA. Nick and I flew separately because he had an earlier flight because of work stuff. I had to take a later flight because of work stuff. So our schedules didn't match up. Yesterday we had dinner with some friends at Ototo. It was my dear friend Christina's birthday. So she blew out a candle, but her real celebration is on Saturday. So I'm really excited for that. We're actually staying at a really good friend's apartment because he's away for the weekend. He opened up his spot for us and i love his apartment let me show you his apartment because it's just so cute it reminds me of a tree house there's like a literal tree right here and here is immediately the kitchen i love his oven so much although he's mentioned that doesn't work the best but it's just so cute either way and look i made him this qp mayo spoon dish Last time he was in New York, we did a little exchange because he also does ceramics, which I'll show you in a bit. But, you know, he got his little spices here. It's so adorable. I guess this is like his little coffee station and plants. I guess he's like propagating something right now. And yeah, just tons of plants everywhere. And over here is just a little open shelf. And I love his glassware. And I also love all his little ceramics. Like these are, this is all the stuff that he's made. I'm pretty sure he told me last time he like hand built this one with a mold. But he uses the wheel, so like look at all this. He plays around with like a lot of different glazes, which I love. And he uses a lot of different clay, which I also love. I kind of just always stick with like my usual regular stoneware. But he kind of like plays around with obsidian clay. And just all these different types of clay, which I love. I love this one. It's so cute. And like this one's really cool. 
how he glazed this like a little splatter thing kind of matches my nails <laughs> and also this corner of the apartment i love the little acrylic shelving going on uh, i love these little lamps that he's got and i love that you can just see all these trees from his living space and i love there's like a little orange tree out there when nick and i lived in la we also had a little orange tree blood orange tree and a kumquat tree and every time i like left the house i would pass by the kumquat tree and just like take a bite of it um yeah this corner too i love i want to show you one last thing um so my friend christina her mom just started getting into making candles and when she showed up to dinner yesterday she like came with came to see me with a bag and said this was for me and look it says d on it it's a little heart okay so we're gonna do a little unboxing together so i already have kind of opened it just now and then there's this beautiful oh number one so cute and i love like colorful things you know so this will go perfect in my apartment She said, I guess this was, there's a little note. I guess this was for New Year's, but obviously I didn't see her until now. Daisy, happy New Year. Let's manifest some motherfucking growth and advance this year. My mom made these with love. I love you so much. Christina. Uh, so sweet. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> a small one. Wow, look at mom all trendy. She knows what the fuck going on. Okay, and then this one. Oh, it's like a larger version of this one. Love it. Love the green. My favorite color. And then this last one. Oh, purple. I've been really into purple lately. I don't know why, but you can just see it kind of matches my nose. So cute. Thanks, CX. I love you. I love your mom. Okay. It is Thursday and I actually still have some work to do and I have one call today. So Nick already head off to a coffee shop that we like to go to work because it's really not super busy. So I'm going to meet him. We're going to work for a little bit and then I think later on we're going to go on a little hikey. But we'll see. Alright, see you. Okay, so I'm about to head out to the coffee shop. But I figured I want to show my little outfit. It's really nothing special, but I haven't worn a shirt like this in forever, but Nick actually had a pile of clothes that he was trying to get rid of. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I want to keep it. So here I am wearing it. Got these baggy pants. This is from a Korean small family owned business called No Less Than, but I love the fit of it. And like the length is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. I love this indigo with this purple i feel like it just really has a nice little contrast and for shoes hold on my shoes are clark's wallabies these are classic classic shoes i don't really see people wearing it in la but i feel like it's such a new york shoe i've had them for since like 2019 and honestly they're really dirty but they still work but yeah this is just a basic boyish fit. I'll probably wear a jacket because it's a little chilly right now.
because it was freezing in there. And these stairs, I'm out of breath. But I just need to go somewhere warm, finish up some work. So I'm heading back. So many interesting homes in this neighborhood. Shotgun! <laughs> Whoa, this is so nostalgic. It's really fresh bazooka though. But, yeah. Like it's not stale? No. Oh uh, yeah, they are primed for a rebrand. Everything's black. <gasps> I remember the little comics inside. Oh yeah. Oh, I tore it up so I can't even read it. Yeah, they, they... It's like Cracker Jack how there's like stuff in each. <laughs> my jaw is like constantly sore from like clenching my jaw. That like I'm trying to chew this is. Why are you clenching your jaw? Cause I have anxiety. 